y'all welcome back to my channel we all go through things and we all have difficulties in life but the way that you think about those things and your perspective about it will make a big difference in what your experience is within those situations i think of it kind of like going on a journey throughout that process you're going to experience different things positive and negative if you're riding on a high speed train, you may be going to get to your destination faster. If you walk that path, it may take you longer to get where you want to be, but you're going to experience things a lot differently. And if you've ever been on a walk or a hike, you know that there's a lot of beauty. Even though there may be some stumbling blocks, rocks and stones in the way, you know, you're going to see the flowers and the birds and all of the small things that you're going to miss if you're on a high speed train. I think it's important to shift your mind mindset when you're going through things. So today, I'm going to tell you how to do that. So what's the role of hardship in your personal growth journey? When we go through things, that's actually how we gain wisdom and a deeper understanding about life. That's why as we grow and get older and experience more things, we gain more wisdom because we've had more experience. You can expedite that process depending on how you're looking at the things that you're experiencing. Sometimes when we go through things, we try to avoid, we try to rush past the hardships and we don't really pay attention. We don't really take anything out of those situations. And then that will cause us to continue to make the same mistakes over and over or have a sense of displeasure, dissatisfaction. We don't want to rush through those experiences. We want to actually take those experiences and see what can I gain from this difficult situation. That's like taking that walk and then facing those things head on. If I'm walking the path and I see the stumbling block ahead of me, that allows me time to actually analyze that situation and figure out what's the best way to get over, around, or under this obstacle. Now I've gained new knowledge and new understanding that I can then use in the future to help me get through other situations that I may experience. When we experience difficult things, a lot of times it's going to teach us something about ourselves or something about the world at large. If you think about the difficulties that we experience, some of these things are outside of our control. We didn't ask for it. We didn't necessarily make it happen. When we experience those things, if we can ask ourselves, what is the lesson to take from this? Potentially, you're going through this difficult situation because it is preparing you for something that you have coming to you in the future. We don't necessarily know what the future holds or what other kind of obstacles we will experience moving forward. But as we go through things and we go through life, we gain more wisdom and understanding about life itself and about our place in the world, but also about ourselves. We will pick up skills that we didn't have before by going through hardships. It's important to embrace those moments of difficulty and see what's the lesson here. Again, in the moment, it may seem pretty daunting or pretty difficult to go through but having a negative mindset about it is obviously not going to make that experience any better and it's actually not very productive. Even if it's a situation that's outside of your control, if you can learn from that and build more wisdom, it will make you stronger and able to deal with things better. So one thing that you can do to help you deal with hardship easier and make the experience less sucky is to shift your perspective about that thing. So if you look at difficulties as all these, I have all these problems, things never work out right, everything sucks, then you're gonna feel pretty defeated. But if you look at those things as opportunities, that's gonna make the experience of that thing totally different. If I'm playing a sport and really working hard and trying to do a really good job, but then something happens and I fail, I could have a really defeated mindset about that and just say, we all suck, we should all just give up. A lot of times that's what we do in life you know, something difficult happens and we just want to give up. But if I looked at that situation as an opportunity for growth, maybe what I could do if I look back at the tape, I will see a weakness of my own that I can then go and work on. And now I've gained that insight that that's an area that I need to really work on and really focus in on in order to make myself a better player. And now I can take that skill into future games and work on helping the team to do a better job. If you shift your mindset from one of negativity to one of opportunity, 
you'll get a better result and you'll gain more wisdom and insight. So how exactly do we get this done? How do I shift my mindset to be one of opportunity versus difficulty? So one thing that you need to do is make sure that you're setting a manageable pace. So like I said, if I'm going to walk the path, I'm going to see things differently. I'm going to notice things that I wouldn't have noticed if I'm rushing by. So even if I'm on the same path, but I'm sprinting, I'm still going to miss some things. So make sure you're going at a pace that is manageable for you. We need to make sure that we're taking in everything and processing things appropriately and effectively in order to get the best result. Be present in the moment. Sometimes we tend to time travel. We will time travel back to the past and kind of get stuck on all of the things that we regret or the things that we wish had gone differently. And in the present moment, that's not really helpful because I mean, the past is done. We can't really go back in time and do anything about that. The past does not have to define your present. Sometimes we travel to the future and we start worrying about things that haven't happened yet. No one knows what the future holds. And so you can do all of the thinking about the future that you want to, but whatever's gonna happen in the future is going to happen. Being able to stay present in the moment instead of traveling to the past or the future will help you be able to appreciate the things that are happening right now. Experience the only version of time that's actually real, which is the present moment. Another great way of shifting your mindset is to practice gratitude. Sometimes we get stuck on thinking about the things that we don't have. We get stuck on comparing ourselves to other people. We're looking at them like they seem to have it all together when you, know, you actually really don't know. When we do that, we tend to miss out on the things that we have. And I really don't care what your situation is, you could probably find someone who's in a worse situation than you. Every day we wake up, we have things that we can be thankful for, even if it seems like the world is falling apart around us. So practicing that sense of gratitude and looking for the positive things, looking for the things that we can be thankful for, can shift your mindset from a scarcity mindset to an abundance mindset. One of the things we sometimes fail to do because maybe we don't think we should or we don't think it's right or we think it makes us a burden to other people is to seek support. A lot of times we are running ourselves into the ground trying to help everybody else but we're neglecting ourselves and we know how important self-care is. If you're not taking care of yourself, you can't help other people. So when a situation is happening, look around you and look out. We have different levels of support. You may have your immediate support circle, but then you have different levels of support outside of that. And so if you need help, if you need support in whatever way, then you should ask for it. If you don't have support, a support system, maybe that's an area that you need to work on. So why does any of this matter anyway? Why would I take a difficult situation and then make it worse by thinking negative about it? If I can shift my mindset, what I'm able to do is have greater self-awareness. I'm gonna have a deeper understanding about myself, my needs, my desires, my skills, my strengths, my weaknesses. That's gonna help me grow as a person. Who knows, I may then be able to be a blessing to someone else in the future or help me deal with some other situation that's coming down the line in the future. It's going to help you be a stronger and better person if you're able to have the right mindset about it. It also will help you build resilience, which is the ability to get through stuff. When you go through one thing, it makes it easier to go through the next thing. We gain more strength and understanding and then we have more knowledge that we can pull from to be able to apply that to the next situation. And it also will give you just a more fulfilled sense of purpose in life and a deeper, richer experience in life. If we're only focused on the negative side of things, it's going to make life seem pretty terrible, right? <laughs> terrible things happen, but life is not terrible in and of itself. So if you're only looking at the negative, that's gonna reinforce that negative mindset. So you have to look, have a balanced point of view about life and be able to see both sides of it. So I'll just say, this is not something that, obviously I was not born thinking this way. I had to develop this mindset over time and it does take time. The sooner you can grasp this concept, the better your life will start to become. Because the fact of the matter is that life happens, but those things in and of themselves are not necessarily good or bad things. 
your point of view about those things is what causes you to interpret whether this thing is a good thing or this thing is a bad thing. Two people can be in the exact same situation and come out of that thinking and feeling completely different because their point of view about it is completely different. And so you wanna take that into consideration. It's not the challenge itself, but how you think about it and how you're looking at that situation is what's causing you to have the reaction to it that you're having. So if you can shift your mindset, you can shift your reaction to it. And sometimes that will even shift the outcome of that situation into something that's more tolerable. So long story short, the journey is the important part. The ups and downs that you experience is just as important as the destination that you're trying to get to. So your mindset about that will help you get to where you want to be, but also enjoy the process of getting there. Because sometimes the process sucks, but if you look at that, those difficult times as an opportunity for growth, even if the situation is difficult, you're going to benefit from it. So I wanna hear from you. I wanna know if you have experienced hardships and what did you use? How did you get through those situations? Were you able to use those situations as a growth opportunity or did they tend to kind of hold you back because of how you were looking at that situation? Would you have done anything different? Leave a comment below. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you like the video. And hit the bell notification so you don't miss any future episodes. And as always, fear nothing, assume nothing, and take nothing for granted. All right, y'all. Hope it's great.